<laughs> Long time no see, I know. What's going on? Here with John again. <laughs> we are actually in the, what the hell is this place anyway? This is Broadway Tower. Well, that's what we call it. I know, but like, um, what is it? It's actually a roofing, industrial roofing construction yard. Oh, okay. Well, that would make sense because it looks quite industrial. <laughs> like, like if you look out there, there is just everything to do every kind of roof. Oh, yeah. The part we care about is in here anyway, because yeah. we got Chungus the router installed. Or I should say John did. I didn't do shit. Chungus the router installed. Not cool. Yep. No, it's Chungus. Chungus the router. Look at it. It's so pretty. Gotta... First thing you said Chungus was talking about me. No, not you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at it. It's so pretty. And then there's the uh, Natonics power in it. Got to have the Natonics. Good shit. Well, that'll be gone here soon, so... Oh, really? I love yeah. Natonics. Can't get the freaking four anymore at all. The Wisp, Wisp Switch 4. Can't get it. Nope. I can't get it anywhere. Nope. It sucks. I wish I had a couple more of those on hand. But yeah, this is where the big tower is. The tower that my tower connects to. Yep. And it's pretty tall. Herb's up there working on stuff because John installed a 13 gigahertz link, a licensed link, 18, I'm sorry. I keep thinking, th well, I was thinking 11 for a while and that was totally wrong. Yeah, an 18 gig um, licensed link and it's gonna get 1.4 gigs across, mm -hmm. symmetrical? Yep. Oh yeah. yeah. So that means from my network, it's gonna be one hop straight to fiber. Baller, should, it should work great, but he's up there running cable now Whoa, what are you doing? There we go. Yeah, he's up there running cable. And uh, we're gonna fire it up here soon, I think. Because mm -hmm. he's he was doing the cable when I got here. Let's see if we can get this side linked. Once we get this side linked, we gotta go back over to 38 and do the fine adjustments on that one. Because our actual plotting says we should get a neg 35 from Jeez. this radio to that radio. Wow. We're aiming for like... Either these bitches are really powerful or it's a really good shot. <laughs> it's a very, very good shot. Yeah. Thankfully, we're shooting completely across all industrial areas. Oh yeah, well, and plus it's licensed, so it shouldn't really get any interference anyway. Yeah, none, it should have zero interference. And with it being all industrial property for six and a half miles, uh, there's no trees. So true, true. God knows it's high enough. Yeah. I, I don't know what the hell the other side's on, but uh, 110 foot. Oh, okay. So, well, it's mounted yeah, at 110 it's... foot. Uh, it's a 200 foot tower on the other side. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, should work pretty well then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, uh, doing, doing things. That's a hell of a climb. <laughs> oh yeah. Let me see if it's plugged in. Time to fire it up. We have a slutty brown wire. Slutty yeah. brown wire. Keep switching keep holes. Bending. He doesn't want to go in the keep hole. switching holes. Wow. Oh, I forgot. I hope they have long fingernails. Yeah. See everyone? That's why he has long fingernails. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not because he doesn't want to cut them. <laughs> People post comments all the time about what your about? damn fingernails. <laughs> oh, about John's fingernails? Yeah. I'm always like, I don't know. <laughs> Ask him. Beats me. <laughs> That's what he says. The the only person I've ever known that had fingernails like that, that was a guy, he was a flamenco guitar player. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, yeah, you kind of need it for that. Yeah, that makes They're sense. They're all, like, manicured and shit, and I was like, dude, what the hell? And he's like, I play flamenco. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right, all right. <laughs> he's like, oh, it helps out with cabling. Yeah, my nails are extremely hard. I literally use my nails as screwdrivers. <laughs> First time I did that, That's and awesome. Angela saw that, she's like, I'm not going to say anything anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we got flame on? Yeah, we'll see in a minute. Oh, who makes the radio? Avia. Ah, uh, yes. Um, go ahead and tell Herb it should be powering up. These are those ones that were like 20 grand or something crazy for the pair, wasn't it? Uh, for license 
antennas, the big dishes, radios that all in all count to like 23,000. Yeah. License links are kind of pricey. <laughs> a little bit. Worth it though, because you said you're going to do cameras and all kinds of shit through it, so yeah. it'll pay for itself over time. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's like, all in all, this tower pulls in about, as it is, 12000 a month. So. Well, then it'll pay like, for itself real quick. <laughs> so it's just one of those things. It's like, eh. Kind of a no-brainer. It's like three months, we get more speeds, more stuff we can do, and it's uh, less headache because it's not 60 gig. <laughs> yes. It's a bit of a no-brainer. Yes. <laughs> You're constantly bleeding. You don't do that. I'm not going to ask. <laughs> Talking about Darwin's nails and how Angela has to work around it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's getting cut. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is the shit. Osmo wow. Pocket 2. Oh yeah. Can I pass me my pliers, please? We're under the compass. And we're in the radio. Linked already? Yeah. <laughs> nice. 83. Barely. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Barely there. But it's working. It is working. What's the capacity with that? Is it even um, showing any? Um, no, it's zero mags. Yeah, I figured. Negative 83 is like, okay, we see each other. <laughs> Look at those sexy 16 peas up there doing big things. And is that the uh, is that the um, Giga Beam that I bought you because I burned up your other one? Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's serving right over there. <laughs> doing nice. surveillance, VoIP, and internet. It's earning its keep. I'm glad it's in use. I paid good money for that bastard because I fried your other one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are out at tower number two. So we got to switch the uh, IPs and you know get everything set up on this radio so it'll talk to the other one. And then we'll be all set. Wrapped everything up at the other place and got everything all, all the cables all tied down and all that good stuff. Look around, you bastard. Yep. Here we go. Oh, look at it. Ooh, it's so pretty. Mm-hmm. So we can see the other side. They're not aimed or anything yet. Not linking because I didn't turn the modulation way down uh, to aim these. So we're gonna go here. And get the modulation turned to the bottom. Gonna go ahead and do that. Come on. Now what, that we did that, now I'm gonna be able to turn the power way up as well. So see if we can get a link, even though these are horribly aimed right now. Yep. Uh, and then you bump it up a little, yeah. aim it, bump it up a little, aim it, on yeah. and on and on, until it's as good as it's gonna get. Yeah. So now I can turn this up to 16. Every 3 dB is double the power, so I'm literally doubling the power right now. I just noticed. Made in Australia? Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Made in Australia. It's kind of interesting. I just noticed that. <laughs> Love you Aussies. Mm -hmm. Feel bad for what your government's doing to you. Is it any better? It says negative 88. That ain't great. No. It was 89.2. Yeah. Now look at it. That's one end, and that's the other end. And you can see in there it says 89 and negative 89. Mm -hmm. So, so we just got to get it aimed. They yeah. are they are no aimed. No, nope. we're gonna reboot this real quick. Oh, I'm breaking shit. What do you reboot? Oh, the switch. No, the actual uh, radio. Oh, okay. The radio is powered off the injector down there. <laughs> I, I like how even this fancy big baller shit still running with a damn ubiquity power injector. 
The other one they wanted like two hundred dollars for. Yeah, it's like how about no? And that's twenty eight dollars. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I don't blame you. If it works, it works. Connection lost. Yeah, I think I have one of these too. I need to get a new one because does yours weeble wobble? No, see so yours to mine the the cable will scoot out just enough to where it doesn't connect anymore. Hmm. No matter what cable I use. If, if I don't like hold it, it'll come out and lose connection. I've bought three, four of these because obviously I uh, I do not <laughs> treat them nicely. No. Well, it's a tool. Yeah. You're, you're always out in the field doing shit. And yeah, it's this hard, thing it's is either here. plugged in or it's in my pocket that gets banged and all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. I have wrenches in there and shit. It's like this little laptop. I notice you get a new laptop every like two months. Yeah. This is like the fifth laptop I've seen you with. <laughs> What is this, Lenovo? No, Samsung. Oh, Samsung. The cool thing about these is it doesn't weigh anything. No, it doesn't weigh anything, and I can fold it back as a tablet. Yeah. Well, and for what we do out here with radios and stuff, not like you need a ton of firepower. No, and, and it's still 16 gigs a year for uh, yeah. i7, 11 something. And you got the uh, Iris XE graphics, which are actually pretty good, but you're running Linux, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Things got so much better once I got rid of Windows 11. Well, because Windows 11, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it was it's not cool. No, nobody likes Windows 11. So I was looking at this, and we have Radio 1, right? And then Carrier 1, 1, Carrier 1, 2. I thought these were just each side of the radio, but no. This is the radio. Mm -hmm. So. He'll, he'll explain. He knows about it. I don't. I've, I've never used these kind of radios, so I have no idea. Here, hold the mic. Yep. Oh. So, um, this is an access point and subscriber module. Like, if we're thinking of, like, our normal Ubiquiti radios. And this is an access point and uh, subscriber module. And then this basically is the master to control these two things. So these are the transmit receive, and then this is the actual brain. So these are full bi-directional radios. So when we do like the AF60 LRs or so on and so forth, those are all half duplex. So they can only send or receive at any given point in time. These can send while this one receives. So full duplex, transmit and receive simultaneously. So, so, that, so it is kind of like I was thinking, like each mm -hmm. one is its own radio technically, and then mm -hmm. you have kind of like the master for ubiquity sort of, yes. where you control it. Okay, so See, bef not that much different. Yeah, so before this uh, existed, um, they had to link aggregate these two together. So that had a cost overhead to it. Yeah. Um, so you couldn't get full gigabit, you could get like the 920, 940 megs through it. Um, now these can be, they're called a uh, hitless aggregation. So it's aggregation without a overhead cost. Hmm. So now we can take the full 730 megs, aggregate it together, it's full 1.4 gigs bi-directional. But oh. it takes four radios. Two on this side and two on the other side hmm. to accomplish that. Interesting. Yeah, how we used to do that, like with the old dragon waves and stuff, because we never had that much money, so we're buying the shit like Sprint take, took down from their tower. <laughs> <laughs> we're, at the, we're basically at the tower, at the bottom, like, thank you. Give me that. Yeah. Give me that. <laughs> and because uh, they were throwing it away anyway. And uh, so we would have to get two radios, have a big coupler in the middle clamp them together and then have XBIC cables that goes around and pairs the radios together. And then we had to have an indoor unit to link aggregate everything together. So it was a lot more work. How far we've come. Yeah, now it's all in one radio that bolts directly to the back of the dish and makes our life so much simpler. Nice. We're yep. waiting on her. It needs aimed. You can see it's still not great on the reception side. 89.7, 87.9, eh, that's kind of fun. Yeah. But I see transmit on here. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's at least passing some data. It also yeah. switched to full, as in like full duplex. So 
they are kind of talking now a little bit since he made the power changes and all that. Yeah. But we're waiting on Herb to get here and get him aimed and then we'll dial him in and that'll be that. Mm -hmm. <laughs>